A much different picture this morning in Ukraine as the streets are quiet. You're looking live right now in Kyiv overnight, about 350 miles from here. Gunfire from there, excuse me, gunfire and shellings near a nuclear power plant caused a fire to break out. Now, this is what it looked like as those shots came raining down. This is in Zaporiaziza. Now, this took hours for fire crews to put the fire out. We're told the fighting has stopped, and fortunately, there are no concerns of nuclear radiation and no reported injuries, although I know a lot of people were watching this live on social media. However, the mayor of this town says they are now under the control of Russian forces. So across North Texas, we've seen business owners, organizations try to find ways to show their support for Ukraine. Tiffany Liu is in Fort Worth, where a vigil is scheduled for this evening. And Tiffany, you've actually been messaging with a mom who is in Ukraine living through this. What does she want us here to know? Yeah, well, Mark, I have been in daily contact with this mother. She has fled Kiev, which is where she is from, and they are actually hiding 40 miles outside in a field. There is no bomb shelter where they are. She actually texted me at midnight today, which is around 8 a.m. in Ukraine, and she told me we had a safe night. And that's kind of the problem right now is they don't know hour to hour, day to day, whether they're going to be safe or not. I couldn't even imagine that I will sit like this uh, thinking about food, thinking about just plain conditions, thinking about shower, thinking that I have I don't have enough pampers for my kid. I just couldn't imagine. Now, I asked her, what can people here do to help? She said two things. The first is stand with Ukraine. It's a modern war, and you can reach people across the globe with a simple hashtag via social media. She wants to see that global support. The second thing you can do is reach out to Ukrainians you know and check in to make sure they are surviving. Locally here in North Texas, many people and companies are doing what they can to show solidarity. A South Lake software company called Sabre Corporation stopped its distribution agreement with a government-majority-owned carrier in Russia. And Arlington shop called Taste of Europe had a sign that said restaurant grocery Russian gifts. They put black tape over the word Russian, hung a Ukrainian flag on the window and a stop war sign in the dining room. They even tweaked their menu. There are also several bars and restaurants removing Russian imports and replacing them with products from Ukraine. Now tonight here at Sundance Square, you can see right now there are blue and yellow lights. Even the tower clock over there is blue and yellow right now. They're having a vigil here tonight at five o'clock. They want as many people to come as possible to show solidarity for Ukraine. Let's send it back to you, Mark.